Make your own headlines. Hey, this is Dal Welsh inviting you to enjoy some random news and make the grace of God your biggest headline of the day. Today's podcast is sponsored by the Ruther Gobham Factory and the letter K. So do you love breakfast? A bowl of cereal, a stack of pancakes, a plate of bacon and eggs, a plate of bacon and bacon. I was so encouraged to learn that there is a professional athlete that can credit his winning edge to bacon. Well, kind of. Colin Morikawa is a professional golfer who has won two major championships, most recently the 149th Open Championship. Colin also loves breakfast. In fact, he loves breakfast so much he has breakfast words engraved on some of his golf clubs. Some of the words stamped on his clubs have been bacon, hash browns, sourdough toast, Cap'n Crunch, and Frosted Flakes. What could you say about those breakfast clubs? They're great! You know what funny dads eat for breakfast? Pun cakes. Jesus was talking to the disciples about success and said this, Rejoice that your names are written in heaven. He didn't say rejoice in your house or your car or your job. He didn't say rejoice in your degree or your raise or your salary. He didn't say rejoice in your team or your grill or even your high score on Super Mario Tennis Golf Smash Yoshi Party 15. He said rejoice that your names are written in heaven. You see, whatever success or failure you may experience in your life, part of what it means to surrender to Jesus is this. You cannot be separated from God. Your name is written in heaven. That means that in Christ you will one day most definitely succeed. Why? Because nothing can erase your name. Make that one of your headlines today. Make Your Own Headlines is a little smidge of encouragement from Holland Avenue Baptist Church. For more ways to listen to this podcast, for weekly sermons, and for more positive resources, check out hollandavenue.com.